Mark Lido has one of the biggest problems that she's ever faced right now on her hands. Many people might say that this is simply her own, well, undoing. She created this problem and now she's got to live with it. But as ever, what are we talking about? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you today. I hope you keep you well. Let's have a wave. Yes, good morning or good night, one and all. Take care of yourselves. By the way, I bumped into a couple of lovely people while out and about in London recently. A lovely Welsh lady by the fish and chip shop in, I think it's Notting Hill, Queensway, somewhere like that. And then a lovely couple simply around the corner as well. Lovely to chat to you. Um, you know, I'm terribly sorry. I've forgotten your names, but you know what it's like. It's so busy. But really, really lovely to meet so many of you who say that you enjoy the channel. That's why I don't like being stuck behind a desk or in a room. If you get out and about, you meet people, you know. For those that can't get out, hopefully we're bringing a little bit of outside to you. If that's what, what do you mean, it's not possible. No, you wish you'd stay inside. Yeah. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, right? No, but seriously, you know, as I said before, if you can just get near a window or sit in your garden or, you know, if you've got a patio door, it just, you just feel better, don't you? And I like to get out and about across London because I spend enough time in studios as it is. So when you meet people, it's just simply an absolutely wonderful added bonus. But thank you for all your kind comments and it's lovely to know that you enjoy the show. Back as ever, though, to your breaking wall story of the day. You know, it happens to all girls. It does, you know. The bottom line is there's that moment when you've been married a long time. And, of course, Marilyn Monroe and Tom Ewell starred in that mega film, didn't they? The Seven Year Itch. It's not quite seven years, is it, for Harry and Meghan? But the bottom line, according to a very good source, is there's this. Prince Harry, you see, is bored. Oh, yes. Now, he's done his book. He's virtually finished his Invictus thing. And when I say book, he just sat with somebody. Now, the only thing to fill his time is no doubt feeding the chickens, feeding Megan, playing around with his children, and indeed wondering what he can do to come up with something to occupy himself, maybe this time around. What's interesting is when he recently returned back here to London, he did realise that he actually missed his time here back home in the capital city. And according to a very good source, he's let slip, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, that he does get bored living out in California, simply because, and wait for this, he feels at points that he's trapped, trapped by his own fame. Now, you know, this is a man who knows fame. He's been born into fame. But the difference between royal fame and, say, celebrity fame is vast. You see, the bigger difference is really this. With royal fame, it's controlled for you, you know. You have a security team. You're always looked after. Your route's planned. With Harry, he's now gone in alone, as has he has with Meghan. And basically, each time they go out, unless it's an event, then, you know, they make sure they're snapped for the paparazzi. According to that good source, Meghan herself is pulling out, well, whatever. Um, you know, let's just leave it there. But the bottom line is, you know, she doesn't know what to do, allegedly, with her husband. Because obviously, you know, she keeps herself incredibly busy known for being a self-starter doesn't necessarily need the push or indeed you know the drive forward for herself she knows what she wants to do wants to achieve and according to that good source at points prince harry's boredom is starting to irritate Meghan markle as one can imagine and on top of all that looking after two young children too it's a strange thing isn't it you know because what the british monarchy are very clever at is literally letting time prevail eventually time rides through and they would have known that prince harry used to such a structured life for so many years eventually would tire of this so-called freedom he was able to escape the others were trapped seemingly though who's trapped now neil sean in the very heart of london